Today we are going to discuss about design of pile caps. In this lesson we are concentrating on single pile caps. How we construct a pile cap when you have a single pile and the design procedures, reinforcement detailing, special things we need to consider are discussed today. Let's start the design. So in a single pile cap you can see a pile cap like this then you have a pile at the bottom and you have a column at the top right this is the basic arrangement of a single pile cap now how we can do the designs when you go to the principles now you have a column load from the top and you have a pile from the bottom we have to connect these two together when you have a smaller axial load we don't want to have a two piles so we can do the construction with a single pile but in this case you can see here this is like something like unstable thing so what we can do is now we can have a tie beams like this so when you have a tie beams then this is stable system right because th there is a weak joint form with a single pipe but if we have a beams connected like this in the both the directions then this will be stable right so this also we have a beam like this other side also if you have a beam like this then this is a stable system so let's see what are the things we need to consider the single pile cap you have a axial load coming from the top and then you have a pile there and you need to transfer this to the foundation for the pile so there is no special things that we need to consider there like special design things because this if these two pipes are straight and we can directly transfer the load column load to the pipe but during the designs and the, due to the construction issues there may be some deviations when you do the construction of piles we have some allowances when you do the construction of piles there may be slight deviations in the pipe so for the pile construction we allow 75 millimeter sensitivity for the piles so this sensitivity we might consider in design of single pile caps so your column load will be act like this your pile center will be somewhere there we allow this to tolerate we allow this to move so in this case now you have axial load say in at the top so the pile reaction same reaction will be there from the pile but what you have is you consider a sensitivity of 75 millimeter right this has to be considered during the pile design so this induced moment need to consider for the design now there are no special things for the shear because there is no significant deviation there so what is your m m equals now you have axial load and sensitivity so this is what you need to consider now when you design apart from that when you design the beams also you might consider that now for example you consider a uh, columns like this you need to support these columns and now if your file may be shifted like this there may be different combinations but this may be shifted like this so when you design the pile cap you consider the bending moment in on to you this is for only for the design of pile cap but doing design pile cap won't be enough now here your pile cap is there your beams will be there if you have a sensitivity there this system will be okay if you have designed the pile but some there should be someone to take these loads so for that we have to design these beams so as you can see here there will be a sensitivity here so with this we have to design this ground beam okay ground beam you have to design for that that you have to keep in mind when you design the ground beams so sensitivity is there there are there may be different cases as i as i showed there your column will be like this your piles may be like this or pile may be in the this side there may be different cases right so you have to consider these all those cases during the ground beam design otherwise once you do the construction of pile you have to take the measurements and check whether 
there are any deviations and you have to consider those deviations and do the ground beam designs. Since we allow 75 mm for file construction, that we may consider during the designs of ground beam, then, then we are safe. If once the pile is constructed, we take the measurements. If these all the measurements are less than 75 mm, if we have designed the ground beams accordingly, then we are safe. If the file is exceed 75 mm, we have to take different precautions and we have to do a special design for that purpose. Now let's see how we can do the design. Let's consider the column axial load as 1000 kN in this pile and the essentiality is equal 75 mm. So the bending moment will be 1000 into 75 divided by 1000 for unit conversion. This will be 75 kN meter. So you have a 75 kN meter bending moment. So for this we have to design. So your dimensions will be known. So initially we consider this dimension. How do you consider? If I explain you a little bit on that, if we have a pile like this, right? Generally, at least we maintain this gap 150 millimeter for our detailing and other requirements. So if your pile diameter is 500, say for example. The width of the pipe will be like 500 part 300 800 millimeter so you know the section so with that if you know the bending moment you can calculate the reinforcement area because you can calculate the effective depth and you can find the reinforcement area based on your relevant standard now you know the reinforcement requirement of the pipe so let's see how we can do the detailing so before that i want to mention you that when you're doing the reinforcement design we have to consider the other requirement for example minimum reinforcement requirement and the crack control reinforcement requirement depending on the your concrete grade and your crack width allowed crack width you could consider the reinforcement requirement for minimum reinforcement requirement so you have a as minimum also from the your alone standard so whichever higher you have to consider for the reinforcement detail how would you do the reinforcement detail you know? Pile caps. Let's see. say your pile cap will be like this. Of your reinforcement bars, you can provide like few bars like this. Then the bottom one also you can put the few bar like this. Here you can have a lap. Okay, you can have a lap. Then you have to provide the distribution bar or the binder. Then your pile lead for your pile reinforcement will be. We have to provide this both the directions. These are vertical bars I am drawing now. These are vertical longitudinal bars and the binder. So but this horizontal bar you may put like a link also. You can make as a link like this. You can make a link like this. Then you can stagger this to avoid the weak zone in a single side. There are different ways like the horizontal reinforcement. The Vertical reinforcement, you can have a horizontal bars also like this also. So there are different ways of doing the detailing, but you have to keep in mind that consider the reinforcement requirement coming from the essentiality and the minimum reinforcement requirement. Then you have to do the detailing for that. In addition, to that you have to make sure the cover is there as per the your requirement, durability requirement, exposure conditions. All those you have to consider. When determine the cover to the reinforcement so with that i think it's clear to you now how you can do the detailing of design of pile cap and detailing of reinforcement design of a single pile cap let's meet again from another video thank you very much for watching our videos